In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix crashes in Halo Infinite, how to optimize the game, and how to load much, much faster. So I'm going to get into crashes first. So go to Properties on Halo Infinite, go to Local Files, and click Verify Integrity of Game Files. If you're fixing crashes, do this first before the other steps. All right, if it doesn't find an issue or it didn't work, then go down to DLC, uninstall the high-res textures, see if that helps, it may. After that, right-click on Halo Infinite, go to Manage, go to Browse Local Files, and delete the stuff inside the shader cache folder. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can delete other uh, caches and stuff like that. Uh, now we're gonna get into how to increase the loading times of Halo Infinite, and the by increase it, I mean like really, really increase it. It'll increase it by quite a lot. So go into videos and delete the intro uh, video. And you can delete all of them if you want. That's what I did. But you can just delete the intro one. That'll that'll work fine. Now, if you want to increase performance, go to graphic settings, click browse, click on haloinfinite.exe at the find it's in this file path. And then uh, you want to go go to it options, and then click high performance. Another thing you want to do to increase performance is install the driver-ready Halo Infinite drivers for NVIDIA or AMD. At the time I'm making this video, uh, you have to, in order to install the AMD ones, you you actually have to manually install it because it's not because it's in beta and it's not in the like Radeon software like you just check for updates and you download it how you typically would. I'm sure if you're watching this in the future it's already you know a part of that software so you can just go there and download it that way but I will leave a link in the description uh, to download the drivers. Uh, now that we got that out of the way I will go into the games and I'll show you some settings that may affect performance that you didn't know about uh, but First, I want to demonstrate how fast the new loading times are. Just spamming the click button to skip as much as possible. As you can see, I'm already loaded in. Skip the intro scene. Now for settings. There is a secret setting. It's not secret, but a lot of people don't know. If your GPU supports this, this will help performance. It helped performance for me. But besides that, I mean, obviously, if you want the best performance, uh, you can just click, click on quality preset and click low. But a tip is texture quality does not affect performance. Only if you like surpass your VRAM. So just leave your texture quality as high as it as high as it will go without passing your VRAM. So you know, honestly, ultra texture quality with the rest of these settings low doesn't look too bad. Another thing I want to say is the resolution scale in this game is very, very, very good because it uses TAAU, Temporal Anti-Aliasing Upscaling, and which is actually better than FSR because it uses motion vectors and stuff. So uh, I highly recommend using this for more performance because depending on how low you put it, you, it's, you'll you be hard pressed to notice the difference. Uh, so just recommend slotting it down until you hit your desired frame rate. Another tip I'll give, may not help with performance, but it's interesting. You can disable chromatic abbreviation and bloom for the HUD, which kind of looks ugly. Last tip is how to get custom aspect ratios. You're going to want to set your custom aspect ratio in AMD software or your video software or like a third party one. Set a custom resolution uh, of the aspect ratio you want. And then just change your default display resolution on your desktop. I have 16 by 10. I just set it to that. And now it's 16 by 10 in the game. Uh, it will probably work with 4x3 and stuff. I haven't tested it with that because I think it's a little bit too much for me. But those are all the tips I have. Thanks for watching. Peace out.